One of the things I wanted to work on today was trying to get better shots with the camera over top of my workbench when I'm working on something that I need you to see from above. It's always a pain to try to put the tripod next to me and angle it just the right way. So stick around, I got some ideas that might be interesting to get the camera mounted on this drop ceiling where I'd be able to move it back and forth and have nice overhead shots. One of the ideas I had involved this piece of aluminum that I got. It's a three quarter inch square tubing. Since it's a nice six foot length, maybe I could use this to suspend it from the drop ceiling. And then the idea was I have some roller blade bearings from old roller blades and I can mount them somehow on some pieces of plywood and they would slide on this track. So what I have to work here with is some old roller blade wheels. So I have these old bearings that came out of them and I had to figure out a way to mount those to a piece of plywood um, so that it could somehow bear on top of this piece of aluminum. What I came up with was using some drywall anchors and then running the drywall screw through that into the piece of plywood. Here you can see I have a countersink that fits that plastic drywall anchor. And then so there's not too much friction there behind this, put a washer there. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you can see it spins nice and smoothly on that. I'm going to mount it to the ceiling up at the top. This will be the top part and this will be the bottom. So I'm going to have to drill some holes, attach this aluminum bar to the bottom, and then this will pinch the grid at the top. And hopefully that'll be rigid enough at the top. To clamp that together, I'll probably just run a screw in underneath the grid to the other side, and that will be enough clamping pressure to keep that tight at the top. I have to make something to be able to clamp onto this part right here. So I'm thinking that what I'm just going to do is drill a hole in here. I already measured it. It's about 7 eighths. This tubing's about 7 eighths inches. Drill a hole in there, cut a kerf in it, make this a clamping system um, with maybe an adjustable, adjustable screw that I can clamp this tight um, around here. This is the part that attached to the bottom of the camera for the tripod. This is the one I use, use the most. That's for this tripod right here. And I was going to try to incorporate this into it, but I realized it's kind of heavy and it seems like it's going to be off center. So I thought it'd be easier if I could mount the camera right to this piece right here. I'd like to have kind of a sliding dovetail. This would be the dovetail that would slide into an adapter here, kind of like it does on the bottom on the base. In this design for the tripod, it fits in on this side, and then you lock it on the other side. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, Shannon, if you want to stay. So I got the angle cut with the radial arm saw. I'm just going to clean it up now with the chisel and see how it fits. Let's see how it slides in there. 
it's a nice resistance fit. So I think I can slide that in there and then the idea is that this is going to mount to this piece. So I'll have to trim this, trim this off the side, cut this down, and then also cut it on either end and then mount it to this piece right here. It's going to sit right there. I'll be able to slide this in, mount the camera right there. Hey, well, I hope this video was helpful to you if you're trying to figure out a way to mount your camera in your shop somewhere. This right now is being shot from that new mount that can roll on the track. I can um, pull forward here a little bit and I can slide it on the track. As you can see, one thing I really like about this setup is I can also do my intros and outros and talk to the camera and it puts the camera a little bit above my eye level, which is really nice for this shop. And it keeps the camera out of the way it's above the workbenches and the table saw where it really wouldn't be interfering with anything anyway for me. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna to wanna to see future videos coming up. I have a lot of projects in mind. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That as usual always helps. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. So until next time, take care.